Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with the Samsung Active Smart PC. It has a full Windows 8 operating system, but in a slim and light slate that will last as long as an ARM-based machine. Uh, that should be the main selling point of the Samsung Active uh, Smart PC, which on top of that uh, ships with a keyboard dock, including the $700 price. If you're coming from Android tablets or even aluminum iPads, the Atif Smart PC will feel that heavy at uh, 26 ounces, 750 grams, given its uh, all plastic construction. However, considering the Samsung's tablet has a larger 11.6 inch display across and runs full Windows 8 that has uh, backwards compatibility with all programs ever written for Windows, something that typically requires a cooling fan, the weight is actually quite decent. Tell that to your wrist though, as prolonged holding of the polycarbonate Active Smart PC chassis brings fatigue much faster than with a typical ARM-based 10-inch slate for instance, despite that there's plenty of side bezel for your thumbs to grip it tight without touching the display. The 9.9 mm thin polycarbonate housing resembles the material used in the making of the blue Galaxy S3 with uh, brushed metal looks but uh, hollow plastic sound when you knock on the back and this back is a look or two with the fake brushed metal housing the elevated Samsung logo here and the metal rim around the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and uh, the tapered sides help in holding the tablet uh, more comfortably. The power lock and uh, screen orientation keys here at the top as well as the volume rocker on the left are situated discreetly and uh, they're flush enough to blend with the chassis but still pretty easy to feel and with good tactile feedback. Moreover we have a full suite of ports and slots we have uh, microSD and SIM card ports here. Our version is with uh, cellular connectivity. We also have uh, a full USB 2.0 port here for connecting peripherals. And since we have Windows 8, uh, we have all the software drivers for them as well. And there is finally an HDMI port for TV out. And all are covered with uh, protective flaps which are relatively easy to open in the full USB port here. The Windows key underneath the display is slightly recessed, preventing accidental presses and with a clicky tactile feel. Below it at the bottom are the dock connector and the keyboard attachment mechanism openings, which uh, make it very easy to snap the tablet in and out of the dock with the push uh, of a button. Samsung throws in uh, two extra input methods with the Atif uh, Smart PC. We have the S Pen stylus, we all know and love from the Note family of phones the tablet here, tucked in the, silo in the lower right corner, which allows you to use the air view functionality, select, run, hand, write, doodle, whatever your heart desires. And we also have this uh, keyboard dock here with a hinge mechanism that transforms the Windows 8 tablet into a full-fledged notebook. The metal hinge mechanism seems sturdy and the tablet snaps into place with one quick motion. Pulling it out is a bit harder as you have to push the release button with significant force before the latch uh, springs are released, but we wouldn't want this mechanism iffy anyway. This uh, sturdy metal hinge wraps around the back like that, making the assembly easy to carry around if you hold it like this, but it uh, adds to the overall weight, which with the dock is uh, north of 3 pounds, 1 kilo and 450 grams, so as much as a typical 11 inch Ultrabook, which however comes with uh, much better specs and storage. The keyboard buttons here are of the island type and uh, pretty easy to type on though with uh, somewhat shallow travel which uh, is a common drawback on 
such dock attachments. The touchpad for that matter is uh, very sensitive and uh, this one button style left and right mouse keys are with uh, very decent click feedback. The 11.6 inches 1366 by 768 pixels screen sports uh, 135 ppi pixel density which is a far cry from what the Nexus 10 or the iPad 4 offer but still pretty decent for everyday tasks. The 440 nits of brightness, the color representation, the contrast and especially the viewing angles are much better than what your typical laptop uh, TM panel offers but uh, that can be said for almost any quality tablet. Let's have a look at uh, how Windows 8 looks like on this screen. Unlike Windows RT, which only runs modern UI apps written for ARM-based processors and uh, enters a limited desktop interface just for Microsoft Office, Windows 8 must have been a tough nut to crack for Microsoft as it had to ensure backdoor access to the legacy desktop as well as uh, force the future upon us with uh, the lifestyle modern UI front and center. It did a pretty good job with the hybrid interface as found on the Ativ Smart PC here by simply running the old desktop view as an app accessible with uh, one tap from the home screen but uh, starting in the tile interface. Thus uh, you can run any legacy program ever written for Windows on Samsung's uh, Atom based slate on top of uh, all the new apps you can run on an RT tablet like the Microsoft Surface. Gestures uh, for closing apps, swiping between them and uh, calling the charms bar here on the right are quite basic and easy to learn. Yet if you don't want to bother with the new stuff you can directly go into the desktop view and never leave with the added benefit of uh, Windows 8 uh, booting and resuming much faster than ever before possible with Windows. Samsung has even thrown in an app dock at the bottom of the screen which we haven't switched on for those who missed the start button and here we have to make note of the stylus functionality with the included uh, S Pen which allows precise navigation. You can uh, use air view, crop and send areas of the screen, select something, run it with the stylus and of course you can doodle, handwrite, you can uh, draw, paint or any other program. Things that are made possible with the inclusion of uh, this excellent stylus we used to from Samsung's Note family. So apart from mind control, the Ativ Smart PC has all input methods, touch, stylus and keyboard at your disposal at all times. The 1.8 GHz dual core Intel Atom processor, however, might be battery efficient but can't measure up to the Core i family of Intel and 2 GB of RAM don't uh, help much either for everyday tasks uh, like using office browsing, watching videos, light picture editing or basic games it performs fine but uh, there's lag and stuttering with uh, more demanding tasks and even in the desktop uh, interface when things get busy. Uh, we just want to show you, for example, we're doing somewhat heavy browsing with streaming a YouTube video in 1080p. Also loading this uh, flash based website with a streaming flash video in it. So far so good but uh, for example if we try to run a 1080p Full HD MKV file which by the way is possible by uh, Samsung providing the Cyberlink Power DVD program together with the Ativ Smart PC and uh, Full HD MKV lacks and stutters a bit, which by the way is true for uh, many low and mid-range laptops as well. 
so it's not that big of a deal breaker but still the atom processor can't measure up to something more powerful from intel the thing is that uh, the ordeal with the processor somewhat defeats the ability to run legacy programs like uh, heavy ones like uh, photoshop even this one moves much slower than you'd like let alone heavy stuff like uh, autocad you also don't get uh, much storage to install such complex windows programs as out of the 64 gigabytes of uh, internal storage you get about half as user available from the box granted there's a micro sd card slot and sky drive for other storage services but even the lowest netbook with a hard drive would laugh at the maximum storage amount possible on the Active Smart smart pc so you better get one of those uh, wi-fi enabled hard drive with a battery as a companion the new internet explorer 10 app in the tiled interface launches this uh, fast and slick looking browser with uh, a very clean and uh, minimalistic interface the modern ui though it is somewhat annoying that uh, you have to manually add permissions to display full adobe flash content in other than the microsoft uh, approved sites it is also confusing that uh, we have an Internet Explorer browser in desktop mode as well, but it is actually the Internet Explorer 9, complete with uh, full Adobe Flash support as you can see. This is a Flash website with streaming Adobe Flash video and it has the typical Windows interface. Alternatively, you can just install Chrome or any other browser, Firefox, and forget about uh, being force-fed the future. As once you set it as default, the Internet Explorer 10 hides and uh, links open in the new browser. We had the Ativ Smart PC version with uh, 4G LT cellular connectivity here, but the basic version supports just Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, 4.0. And we noticed that reconnecting the router upon system resume lacked uh, the UI loading a bit. As for wired connectivity, we get a micro HDMI port and a dedicated charging one as you can't charge through the full USB port, which is on, on top of that is uh, only USB 2.0 compliant, not the much faster 3.0 standard. The biggest gripe uh, about the default Windows 8 media apps is not the music player. As you can see, apps take uh, quite a long time to load for the first time four or five seconds or more it's not the music player which is uh, very decent also it's uh, not the picture application which looks good as well and it's uh, easy to organize and manage your photos from here Biggest complaint is with the uh, video player, unfortunately. The default one doesn't support such popular containers like uh, MKV, thus you'd have to resort to third-party apps, which are paid in the Windows Store or the good old desktop mode again to install any video play your heart desires. as this one here the default uh, video player doesn't play popular formats and that's one less reason to stay and use the modern UI elements instead of resorting to the desktop mode and running MKVs in the Samsung supplied uh, Cyberlink Power DVD app for example though we prefer lighter solutions like uh, the VLC or game player but uh, still Samsung provides you a pretty powerful and decent video player for free here with the Ative Smart PC. We also have a decent uh, stereo speakers which don't sound too flat or distorted even at uh, high volumes. There's an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash on the back of the Ative Smart PC and a front facing shooter for video chat. The interface is uh, quite basic in the camera app, only letting you adjust the resolution, brightness, the contrast, and exposure. 
but you can always uh, scoop an app from the Windows Store for color effects, HDR and the like. The camera takes some time to focus and the photos appear somewhat soft and undersaturated with less detail than we would expect from the camera's resolution. The tablet shoots uh, full HD video though the footage is, uh, the footage is mediocre and uh, with wandering focus pale colors and can be quite noisy in low light scenarios. Jack of all trades or a master of none, the Samsung Ative Smart PC has other Intel Atom based tablets with Windows 8 sound great on paper. Thin and light, they're capable to run legacy Windows programs and have a battery life comparable with iOS or Android slates. The compromises for achieving such a combo, however, are not to be taken lightly. While the Ative Smart PC is uh, area for an 11.6 inch tablet and well built, its weight is not comfy to hold for a prolonged uh, period and with the keyboard dock it weighs as much as an 11 inch uh, ultrabook. Thus the main advantage of the Ative Smart PC is that it gives you double the battery life your typical notebook would offer as well as all the input flexibility that uh, comes with uh, the S Pen stylus and a detachable screen keyboard dock uh, combo. So if for some reason you need full Windows 8 for all day computing on the go, Samsung's uh, Atom based slate will do the trick, but uh, only in light usage scenarios. For heavy usage, uh, you have to resort to something like the Microsoft Surface Pro, which is more expensive, or altogether get a notebook like the $500 Asus VivoBook, for instance, with the same size touchscreen as the Smart PC here, same weight and much better specs and storage while spending the money you'd spare for an affordable tablet to use on the go. The actual direct competitors of the Ative Smart PC here, however, are other such uh, Atom Win8 slates, like the Acer Iconia Tab W510, which has a tad smaller screen for the same price, but its keyboard dock sports an additional battery, so you can muster twice the endurance of the Smart PC. Oh, wow, it doesn't have the added uh, S Pen functionality we have here. Or alternatively, you can get an iPad 4 with hundreds of thousands of uh, tablet-oriented apps, or Nexus uh, 10 with high-resolution display. Yet, if you need Windows 8 with this battery life on a tablet, there aren't many slates to choose from at the moment. So to summarize, the positives about the Samsung Thief smart PC are that its battery life is comparable to an ARM based tablet. It has uh, a full size USB port and software drivers which allow hooking up any peripheral to it and it also have the added S Pen functionality for doodling, handwriting, drawing etc. And the negatives are that it is expensive at $700 with the keyboard dock. The Intel Atom processor is only for fairly light Windows programs and uh, not for heavy multitasking with the 2GB of RAM and there is no extra battery in the keyboard dock like some other direct competitors with uh, Atom processors. This was a video review of the Samsung Ative Smart PC from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other tablets you can visit us at phoneArena.com. Thanks for watching.